All right. We're recording right now? All right, it's fine. I mean, a jumpy stream is marginally better than no stream. It's not like we're losing anything. So, oh, we're gonna start a metal cavern. That's sick. But yeah. Showtime is here today because he had a fatty upset against Sosa. And Aeon did his duty and uh, speed up uh, on Venom. So we got this in uh, winter semis today. A little, a little different than usual. And yep, this is, they're both from Long Beach and they play against each other like all the time. It's actually kind of cool that their uh, their PR skins are the same color scheme. That'd be that. That would have been like a nice touch. Oh my God! Wait, that was like the instant power shield. Oh, this is insane. Yeah, Seth and uh, Kyrene or Showtime and Ion have been friends since the very beginning, like 3.02 even before then. They uh, definitely like play a bunch against each other and they're like one of the classic 50-50s in SoCal. Who wins this one? So we could potentially see Ion winners finals or Showtime. Either would be like super cool. They both play like pretty awesome, like crazy combos and stuff. But I was talking to Sosa about it earlier, and he was saying that Kyrene has like a, who, Kyrene is Showtime. Showtime has one of the strangest set of skills as a smasher. Like his smash skills are way different than other players. He picks way different options. He's like super, he's not particularly aggressive when he plays, so he picks up on your habits and it's hard to kind of understand what his habits are. Cryfy, are you trying to report a score? Laptops in the corner, over there. So yeah, Kyrene's taking a, a lead. Oh! Wait, what? What was that? Wait, what happened? Oh, shit. You guys can gentlemen to start it over, or actually, gentlemen to two stocks. Here, you guys are both at two even stocks. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make that as two stocks. Two stocks, two stocks each. Yeah. So what happened? Kyrene was trying to reset his controller really quick, but he did it too quick and accidentally salty reset it. So they're gonna gentleman a couple stocks off the side and then we're, we'll be right back where we were. Okay, because it was super even. It was a slight lead, but that pause is basically a stock forfeit. Looks like the stream is doing a little better today, or a little better right now. Who knows? Well, whatever, we're back. You wanna take a, take a mic? Okay, sure. But yes, we're back in, and we got two stocks each right now. This stage is also like super, because of the way the ground is, it's way harder to to in incorporate wave dashing and wave lands into your movement. So if you have a stronger like dash dance game, you'll be able to do a lot more ground-based movement options. And that's gonna affect a lot, because I would say both of these players are, are fairly like dash dance heavy in the neutral. Hopefully this stage plays to that. Oh, oh, and that's a stock too. Oh my god, this combo is Oh, he misses the grab. Let's see, Showtime has a chance. Oh, but it's a meteor. He didn't have the aura charge. Alright. Oh. Um. Oh. Because I think, I can't tell. There's a visual indication whether or not Lucario has aura. I believe he has one charge of aura right now. And, oh, the RAR back air. It's so hard to get RARs at, like, the minimum distance on a character with a dash dance as long as Sonic. So that was probably one or two frames from as quick as possible that back air could have come out. Ion taking game one. There's five games in this set. Since we are in winner's semis. Going to Battlefield. Oh. 
And we catch, we we caught uh, Ion out of out of his platform movement. I think that Lucario's fair is super good at that. It kind of feels like a Marth fair in reverse, kind of like a smaller DDD forward air. It scoops up a lot of range, and you can use it to kind of zone certain areas. Super good tool in the neutral. Ion made a mistake and rolled at the wrong time during that magic series. Lucario has such strong punishes off of shield pressure because he can land those smash attacks on you. Something that no other character can do. This is super commanding. Are we going to go four stocks to two? It looks like it. Oh. Okay. But Aeon has something to say. Oh, he almost fell off the board. Okay, we just did two cutesy uh, B reverses. Oh my god! And when you hit that that meteor hit of the down tilt, that down tilt, the one, the hitbox that sends you straight up has so much hit stun. So something to know about Smash is that uh, for meteored attacks, grounded meteors, you can have moves that send directly down when you're on the ground. And if you do so, um, if you hit someone with like a spike or a meteor. Uh, they'll actually be in a little more hit stun than normal because they go a shorter distance, I believe. So they'll... Oh! Almost. This might be... This is getting... This is four stocks to one? Oh my god. Okay. Showtime is definitely going to uh, sweep up this game real fast, I think. If you're looking for a laptop to report scores, it's in the corner over there. But yes. So we have one... This should be a stock. Oh! Ooh, yeah. Showtime's a real wily right now. It's like definitely tough for Ion to win the neutral. Oh, but nice there to just pick one up. Not looking like it's gonna be much in the big picture of this game though. Yeah, especially with Act like Lucario is one of the best, I would say, crouch cancel games. Not because he has big range, but the, his down tilt comes out super fast. It, it leads into so many combos, and even if you whiff it, or not not if you whiff it, but even if it doesn't get the good hit, you instantly can go into the rest of your combo tree. You can get super big hits in neutral off of just the crouch cancel. And that's a three stock, solid. Bring the score up to 1-1. One, one. But we ban okay, so we can't we're not going to Metal Cavern because that one's already been taken. The the laptop report the score on the laptop in the corner. Not that one, there's one over behind you. So we're on battlefield now. Oh, and that's the shield pressure. Like against other characters, you only have to worry about shielding one move. But with Lucario, if you get hit by one move, you can get hit by a bunch of them, and one of them's a command grab. So letting him letting a Lucario in on your shield, that's that's where Lucario like doesn't mind being. Most characters are pretty like if you're shielding, they're not gonna get anything big except maybe a grab. But Lucario can get a grab, he can get like tons of like shield damage, shield pressure, and even go into his own command grab too. So there's a lot of mix-up options. You want you definitely wanna keep keep away from Lucario. Oh, oh, yeah, a little tip taps right there. Healing out the combo. Oh, Ion's back air hitbox doesn't come out. He just dies for it. Juan, if you're looking to report scores, there is a laptop over on the corner cubicle. That one doesn't have access to the challenge bracket. I didn't do that yet. So, back at three stocks apiece. Oh my god, that was a little bit of trickiness with the side B to insta dash attack. From Ion over there. Oh my god, he hits him with the back of it! Oh! Showtime thought he could do something real sneaky by 
up being super low, or up being straight down, but Ayan hits him with just the reverse hitbox of that down B. Or that, it was actually a side B, but... Oh, almost. It doesn't reverse the up tilt, so the combo doesn't get as much damage as it could. Oh, but we're going to blast one out. Ugh. Blue menaces facing off against each other, except they're silver. Yeah, they both. I was actually going to say that it's kind of nice that they're both like kind of like, they're friends, they're from the same region, uh -huh. and their PR skins kind of like color are color coordinated. <laughs> They got this white They're and from blue. Long Beach, is that right? Yeah, they got the white and blue to contrast from the Riverside black and red. <laughs> this is uh, winter semi, plus the five. That's true. We're on game three right now. Kyrene just actually, so they started game one. It was pretty close. Seth took it, and then Kyrene three stocked Seth game two on battlefield. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah, Kyrene doing really well today with uh, platforms. Oh. Yeah. Like, just like watching his combo. Like, obviously, you know, the, the best IPK combo videos back back when were always, you know, you down B off the, the platform to like follow them out of your combo and then you just keep going. So, um, I think he's always been good at that. But, like, I don't know, especially, I've just been noticing it today. Maybe. The punish game has definitely felt really nice. Also, just, I don't know, the way that Kyrian plays neutral is very reactionary. Something that we don't see a lot in SoCal. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, Kyrene is very cognizant of what his opponent is doing and responding. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Um, he also uses something I, I know specifically is he uses that pair a lot, like a lot. <laughs> like a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, as, like, not only as a neutral tool, but as a combo like, extender, yeah. shield pressure option. It does so much. It's such a big move. It's like safe. You can cross up with it. Like, yeah. Oh my god, Bad DI wow. is going to take it. <laughs> Tauntaun. Tauntaun Dude. Oh my god. Tauntaun would make a really great Switch emote. <laughs> Personal opinion. I agree. I agree with that. But I was also going to say that there's a lot of use of crouch cancel. I think that Lucario is a character that does really well when he's crouch canceling. Yeah, and he he's, he's just going to win crouch cancel wars because if you crouch cancel him, he's just going to come with the fuck out of you just like while you're yeah. sitting oh there. Yeah, oh my god, another crazy combo. I don't know I don't know how, what he's been doing this set, but in the previous sets we've seen him using a lot of aura spears, like a lot of uh, the I'm big sorry. bad yeah, balls. Yeah, yeah. The, the aura, aura bomb. bomb. Which is an interesting choice. Yeah, it definitely, it, it helps. I don't know, I feel like when you, if putting a projectile out in general, oh, oh man, that's damn, nice. yeah, it's an SD. But you know, like, let's say we're like a Diddy Kong putting a banana out, or a Raw putting a gyro out, that makes the player play a different way. Absolutely, and I was saying that in every other fighting game, a big ass slow moving projectile that is like not good to block, is like insane. Like they always are. Yeah. Um, the only thing in this game is that you can power shield it like pretty easily. You can just run up to it, get like right next to it, and be like, oh, and yes. then turn it into your projectile. Because it's so slow. Yeah. So that's the only reason it's kind of not as good. But uh, in principle, I don't see why it shouldn't be. Yeah. I mean, you do have to spend your aura to, to, to use it. So the fact that he's even using it in the first place means he's valuing that option just as much as, say, like a down B cancel, which is also a huge option. But yes, I think that any any situation that can set up into an unblockable, quote unquote, in Smash, so something like a Game and Watch bacon into a grab, or like even like all of our purple Pikmin into a grab, or a Lucario Aura Sphere bomb into grab, those are some of the strongest things you can do to like lock down and control. Yeah. The other thing about this game is that it's a lot more viable to jump over projectiles, where in traditional fighting games it's like. There's it's, there's less leeway. It's like if you jump and they call it, like you're getting hit, but that's not always the case in Smash. That's true. As we're going into this last stock, it definitely feels like you know there was that unfortunate SD. But we'll see if because I think that the punish game on Kyrene's side, Swift side, Showtime side, whatever you call it, has been has been looking really good, and you know. Aeon has been getting those neutral wins, but hasn't been converting them into the damage, or more importantly, with Sonic, the gimps that he needs. Yeah. 
Okay, we're seeing it kind of even. I like I like what he did that last stock. He just crossed on all the shit out with his spinny moves. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. It worked out really well. Oh! That was uh, very intelligent to like jab in that situation. I, I, I really do like a lot of jabs and shield pressure situations in this game. Oh. Yeah, cause it's, it's like the most true mix up, you know what I mean? Like jab or grab. Yeah, oh, nice and that's a 3 1 for Swift over Aeon. Nice job. Nice. So that, that puts Kyrene in the winner's finals. Let's go, Kyrene. All right, next up we got Jose versus Nezergy, I believe. So let me grab Jose because uh, that's the kind of guy that needs to be grabbed. Okay. 